a little birdie told me you're interested in dinosaurs, but don't really know where to start learning. Well, don't worry, because here are five rapid-fire basic dinosaur facts. Let's try to understand geologic time. The Earth is approximately 4.5 billion years old, which is a lot of time to cover. If you're only interested in when dinosaurs lived, then all you need to know is when the Mesozoic Era was, aka the Age of Reptiles, and the three time periods that make up the Mesozoic Era. The first and oldest time period in the Mesozoic is the Triassic period, starting around 251 million years ago. The end of the Triassic, about 201 million years ago, marks the beginning of the famous Jurassic period that Jurassic Park is named after. The final time period in the Mesozoic is the Cretaceous, starting around 145 million years ago and ending around 66 million years ago, which also means the end of the dinosaurs. Oh. Dinosaurs come in all shapes and sizes. Dinosaurs with certain body plans are separated into different groups based on their evolutionary history, which are called clades. Wow, vocabulary. There's like a million different dinosaur clades out there, so I'll just go over a few. Ceratopsians are horned dinosaurs, such as Triceratops and Styracosaurus. Pachycephalosauria are dome-headed dinosaurs, such as Pachycephalosaurus, of course, and Dracorex. Together, Ceratopsians and Pachycephalosauria make up a clade called Marginocephalia. Then, you got hadrosaurs like Perseurolophus and Iguanodonts, like, you know, Iguanodon, and all their relatives, such as Hypsilophodon. They belong in a clade called Ornithopoda. Next are the Thyreophora, which include Stegosauria and Ankylosauria. And yes, Stegosaurus and Ankylosaurus belong in their respective groups. Your chunky boys, the sauropods, are often referred to as long necks, and they are huge, man. Common examples are Brachiosaurus and Apatosaurus. Finally, we have the theropods, your bipedal meat eaters, except when they eat plants, because some of them do that sometimes. This is also the group where birds come from. Think T Rex, Velociraptor, Allosaurus, even Gallimimus, who is one of those plant guys. Now, mind you, how dinosaurs are grouped together is very hard to figure out and is constantly changing, so it is possible that one day this might not be accurate. Whew, that was a lot. So let's slow down and take a breather. There's this guy who lived in the 1800s named Sir Richard Owen, and he coined the term dinosaur in 1842. It means terrible lizard, or fearfully great lizard, or whatever you want. I've got the composition of scientific words right here, and in it it says dino, terrible, fearful, see fear, dinos, a whirling, rotation, eddy. The first dinosaur ever described, not discovered, described, is that a megalosaurus in 1824, 18 years before the word dinosaur was even coined. The first potential fossils of megalosaurus was a femur discovered in the 17th century named Scrotum Humanum because it looked like a pair of, uh, oh my. Are you sure this is still basic facts? It doesn't really seem that basic to me. Not all prehistoric creatures were dinosaurs. Pterosaurs, marine reptiles, crocodiles, they weren't dinosaurs. So what makes a dinosaur a dinosaur and a pterosaur or whatever? Not a dinosaur. It's all in the hips. Dinosaurs have a hole in the hip socket to allow their legs to sit under the body instead of to the side like a modern day lizard. Pterosaurs, on the other hand, do not have this hole. Thus, your favorite pterodactyl is not a dinosaur. Well, don't worry, because here are five rapid fire basic fossil 